With streets made of water, Venice gleams in the sun. It thrills and enchants all the people who come. Yet, within one of its schools, hidden from view, lived orphan Maria, alone feeling blue. She dreamed of adventure, she longed to escape, to discover magic and music. How could this take shape? One day after breakfast, she was trapped by a rat. It was chased to the basement by Carlo the cat. Maria was frightened. She had nowhere to run. She climbed on the toilet. This was not fun. As the rat drew closer, she slipped down the wall, but a hidden stone lever dampened her fall. A dark, cobweb passage swung into sight. Anything was better than that fat rat's bite. So down the damp tunnel Maria rushed and emerged to the light, panting and flushed. Then from the canal a voice called, Hello! There stood an elegant lion with gondola in tow. He greeted her again, Marco's the name, journey to adventure, that is my game. Now tell me how I may be of service to you. Why yes, I would be grateful to go to a music review. Well, for each magic voyage, we need one red rose. So better get ten, smirked Marco, tapping his nose. Rialto Bridge is the place you should start. Yes, the bridge with the shops, Marco, how smart! With money in hand, Maria rushed to depart, then quickly returned from the flower grower's mart. Marco took her hand towards his gondola all gold. Step this way, throw your rose, let the magic unfold. Light rainbow clouds rose the boat and its crew. Soft angel music chimed, Venice fell from view. Then down with a thump, they finished the flight. They had arrived, it was true, but oh, what a fright! It was China, it was clear, but some time long ago, they saw horse and cart lit in soft torches glow. No matter what, they enjoyed it a lot. They discovered King Khan and his toucan mascot. They sat in his palace on a kingly city, had music by pepper, horse milk and black tea. Later at the gondola, our two friends sat back. For eating gourmet, this can has the knack. Next, the boat's magic worked out just right. 20th century achieved a tea house delight. Led by a geisha, music and snacks came on cue. Delicious red bean pastries and hot green tea brew. With sounds from a shamisen for full Japanese flavour, twanging and twinging, what a voyage to savour. Travel to Persia, now Iran, the next stop. A princess and wedding, this time the magic brought. Feast plates so piled, there was no room for more, as pastries tumbled and oranges bounced on the floor. A silk string mansion serenaded them all, but Maria was afraid to miss lunchtime's call, for her teachers were strict demanding attention, and an absent student meant the class on detention. Back in the gondola, Maria pleaded to go home, but the gondola fell back in a big burp of foam. Now Maria prayed that the boat would not falter. Then what a relief, they landed up by the altar. Where stood in the pews her friends, cat and rat? This day's voyage, I should thank them for that. Thank you too, Marco. It's been a great adventure, though escaping from Venice 
was quite a risky venture. I hope you had fun, do not be afraid. If you are sad, mad, lonely, or need first aid, please come and find me, and at your behest, exploits and magic, I take any request. With a wave and a smile, she watched Marco depart, happy to think she had followed her heart. So, I hope you enjoyed the story, but the fun hasn't finished yet. At the back of my book, you'll find more information about the unusual instruments that were discovered during the story. The Golden Gondola is available in English, French, or in a combined English-French version. The French poem has been written by Anne de Pont-Salter. If you would like to buy a copy of The Golden Gondola, please go to lulu.com, go to the Sandra Arthur author page where you will find details of my ebook and paperback books. Thank you.